Welcome. Today we'll be tasting the Maipu Cabernet Sauvignon from the Malay Valley in Chile. My name is David Hunter. I'm the Director of Content and Education with Teuton Selection. The Maipu Cabernet Sauvignon is produced by the Baron Philippe de Rothschild family, originally from the Bordeaux region of France. Today they're internationally recognized for producing world-class wines around the world. Some of their other, other estates include Mouton Rothschild, Opus One, and Alma Viva, just to list a few. The Maipu brand has a really great and in interesting backstory. So several decades ago, the Rothschild family decided to search the world looking for other regions where they could produce top quality wines. In Chile, the quality was unmistakable. The consistency and the potential there was very exciting. So they decided to invest and build a state-of-the-art winery. Today, they produce their flagship wine there, which is known as Escudo Rojo, and several other brands, including Maipu. The interesting thing here is that Maipu is created with the same winery, the same team, and the same quality as all of the other raw shield wines in Chile. So the most utmost attention to detail and quality and expertise go into producing these wines. Let's speak for a few moments about the Malay Valley. So this wine is produced with 100% Cabernet Sauvignon grapes from all from the Malay Valley. Malay means rain in the local indigenous language. So the Malay Valley is within central Chile at the southern edge of that, that central valley. And it's one of the oldest and most respected regions within Chile, Chile for quality wine production. One of the things that makes it unique and special is its temperature shift from the daytime high temperature to the nighttime low. So it'll have uh, a big temperature shift that's known as a diurnal shift, sometimes 30 to 40 degrees from uh, the daytime to the nighttime. So that temperature shift is really important for producing high quality, complex, interesting grapes, which make interesting wine in the end. So the best wine production regions in the world all have this characteristic, including Bordeaux, uh, Sonoma, Napa, and here in Chile. So this is one of just several things that make this, this place really special. Uh, let's go ahead and review the wine. So here's our label, Maipo Cabernet Sauvignon. You can see on here, it says it's produced by the Rothschild family, also on the neck, and they have their crest on the top of the cap as well. It has a screw cap, which I personally like. It means it's very easy to open. Also guarantees you that the wine will not be corked and uh, that it's gonna be very fresh and you're not gonna have any issues with any undue oxidation. So let's go ahead and give it a smell. Classic Cabernet Sauvignon. Dark fruits, plums, black cherry, a little bit of spice, black pepper in there. Very aromatic though, juicy, fresh, bright. Nice and grippy on the palate, nice tannin, nicely balanced. Again, focus on the darker fruit, black fruit, but still round, approachable even without food. I can have a glass of this by itself. Nice complexity, I'm still getting nice notes in the background. And a nice finish. No oak on this one at all. It is 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. And I would say very food friendly. Uh, this would be great with uh, roasted chicken, pork, even a burger. Great with a variety of appetizers, um, even by itself, like I mentioned, it would uh, really taste perfect with that. So let's review a few key talking points for this wine. It's a 100% estate produced wine, meaning that all of the grapes were farmed and managed by the Rothschild family all the way through the production and bottling of the wine. So it's a 100% estate owned and produced wine, which is really rare, especially in this price point and for the quality of this wine. So all estates, um, the winemakers and the producers really have a focus on the local terroir and reflecting that in the wine. So this wine does come from a, a single site within the Malay River Valley. Let's mention a few things about the label, which I feel like are important mentioning. 
you have the petroglyph here in the center, the gold petroglyph. It's a symbol of power, and the ancient chiefs used to use that as a sense of, uh, as a symbol of power. Um, so this is an homage to that ancient, uh, ancient wisdom, but also the strength and the, and the quality of the wines here in Chile. Another important thing to mention is that all these grapes are harvested either in the early morning or overnight. So harvesting grapes during cool temperatures retains the acidity, the freshness, the aromatics of the grape. So these grapes are all harvested during the very cool temperatures to, to preserve that freshness. Again, no oak aging on this at all. One very important point is that this wine is certified sustainable. So you can see here on the back of the label, it has the certified sustainable in Chile label meaning that the wine was produced trying to minimize the use of any type of water, herbicides, or pesticides. This wine is also certified vegan, meaning that it was produced without any meat products or byproducts, which is also really important and something that people look for quite a bit these days. Again, very approachable, food-friendly wine, uh, expressive, uh, but very user-friendly. And like I mentioned before, food-friendly, great with a wide variety of dishes. If you have any additional questions, I'll put up a link to some additional resources here. The Maipu brand has an excellent website which lists a bunch of additional details on the wine, notes from the winemaking team, additional notes on the terroir and vineyards where this wine is, is produced at. I'll also include my information at David Hunter and feel free to reach out to me at any time with any additional questions. Thank you for your time and happy selling.